travel hacks. What's up guys? I'm back with another quick tutorial. I'm not really sure if this counts as a travel hack, but it's my channel. I'll do it if I want. So do you use WhatsApp? Do you pair your phone with your computer and use WhatsApp web, the WhatsApp web version? If you do, and you're like me, and you always wanted a dark mode, I'm gonna show you a quick method to enable dark mode on the WhatsApp web client. No, let me just note first before we go on that this method is only usable with Google Chrome. If you're using a browser other than Chrome, you're going to have to use something else. So the first thing you're going to do is install an extension called Stylish. Go to the Google Chrome store and search for Stylish. You see it here. Install that real quick. Click this button. I already have it downloaded, so uh, but this is where the install button will be. And the next part of this method is to go to a website. The link will be in the description, but we're going to userstyles.org. So what this is doing is uh, Stylish is an app, is a extension that will allow you to apply customized style sheets to any website. So you go to Google and you want to make the background black. You can use this uh, extension to do that. And in this case, what we're going to do is um, apply a dark theme style sheet to the WhatsApp web website or the WhatsApp web client. So once you have Stylish installed and you head over to userstyles.org, you're going to search for a theme. It's called Dark WhatsApp Theme by Mew. Now there's a few other themes, but this one is very good. I use it myself and the author keeps it um, constantly updated. So that's why I would recommend that you use this one. So, so once you, once you get to this section at the bottom right of the top window, you're going to see an install button. You're going to click there and that will install it to your machine. Now, once you navigate back to the WhatsApp web client and you hit that stylish icon on the top right, if it isn't installed already, all you're going to have to do is, uh, click the activate button here. And then you can toggle that on and off, but uh, just make sure that it's active. And if you want to deactivate it, you just click up there again and switch it to inactive. All right, guys, that is it. If you have any trouble with this method, leave a comment down below. I'll try to help you out. If you found this useful, you know, give a like, maybe leave a comment, maybe even subscribe if you feel inclined. But that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next video.